In this video, you are going to learn more about the variance of ordinary least square. The goal here is to get the variance of beta. We need this variance for inference to make a hypothesis test. Let's see the formula of the variance of beta hat conditional to x. Now, let's learn how to get this part here, the beta hat minus beta. First, let's write the definition of beta hat. And let's substitute y by the definition of the regression. If you distribute y, you are going to get this expression here. Now, let's take this beta here and pass to the left side. Then we get beta hat minus beta equal the covariance matrix of x inverse times x trace epsilon. Now, let's plug this expression here in the formula of the variance of the beta. We just derive that this expression here is beta hat minus beta. And the other beta hat minus beta trace, it's here. See that we keep the expectation of the original expression and we keep the condition to x as well. Let's treat this part as a constant and this part as well as a constant. And then let's pass the expectation to the error term. And then we get this expression. See that the variance of the error is the expect value of this term here. Error times error is the variance. See that this is the conditional variance of the error, conditional to x. This conditional x comes from here. Note that to calculate the conditional variance of beta hat, we need the variance of the error term. Let's see the matrix of the error terms. Note that off diagonal, we have all zeros. Mathematically, we can write the off diagonal elements in this way. It is just the spec value of the joint distribution of the error i and the error j. If the error i is independent of the error j, we can write the joint distribution as the product of the marginal distribution of error i and the error j. And this is zero, as we show in previous videos. Therefore, all these zeros of the diagonal, you are assuming that the errors are independent from each other, and there is no autocorrelation problem. In the diagonal, note the subscript 1, 2, and n. That means that the variance of the error terms are different, not constant. You are in the case of heteroscedasticity. To calculate the variance of beta hat, under heteroscedasticity, the computer will use this formula here. But in the place of the error term, the computer will use the residual, because the error term is abstraction. Now, let's assume homocedasticity, constant variance. We have to vanish with all these subscripts to indicate that the variance is equal. Under homocedasticity, this term here can be replaced by identity matrix times the constant variance. Then we can write this expression here. The sigma square is the variance of the error term under homocedasticity. This term is a constant and stay outside. And these two terms here can simplify. And then you get sigma square times the inverse of the covariance matrix of x. This is the formula that the computer uses to calculate the variance under homocedasticity. See that homocedasticity is a special case of heterosedasticity.